Representing his home of Cincinnati, Ohio. He wins. Vargas in the white shorts, Adrian Broner in the purple and white. This is a catch weight of 144 pounds. So in the welterweight division. Vargas is looking to try and jab to the body. Broner with that wide stance, just taking the weight back. It was uh, surprising to see how how confident. It didn't seem like there was any nerves from either fighter in the, the ring walks there, considering how much is on the line here, especially for Broner. I mean, uh, a defeat here really is, you know, almost the end for him, but oozing confidence and... It's a lively start from both with the jab, quick, quick sharp jabs. Start off, yeah, definitely the battle of jabs. A nice counter left hook from Broner there. Broner just inching forward with that front foot. Vargas again looking to try and jab to the body. Broner with those gloves carried high just slaps down on a, another jab to the midriff there from Vargas and then looks for a combination but taken on the gloves by Vargas like I said there you know it really is a contrast of styles here you've got uh, Broner who tries that is only one way where he tries to replicate it in some ways tries to roll that left shoulder around and take some gloves on there and counter back with the right hand and then you've got Vargas is tidy and, and throws that lovely counter right that we'd be looking for here. But at the minute, they're both just having a look, trying to size up their opponent. Interesting start. They're both just having a chat to each other here as well. Broner again looking for that jab. Both have been fairly circumspect in this opening round so far. Nobody's really opened up at any stage, but at this level, you can't just walk forward and throw punches. You get slaughtered if you do that. They've got to just look for some kind of an opening, set traps, faint, draw something from their opponent, find some kind of chink or encouragement. Preferring the, uh, the variation with the jab of Vargas at the minute, he's, he's landed a couple to the body, then a switch up top to the head. Just finding his range a little bit better with the jab, though. Broner made him fall short of a couple there. Neither have yet to, to let the right hand go properly. Ten seconds to the bell. Ten second clapper at the end of the first round, but an interesting first round. Nothing really solid has landed from either man. Ten. He's encouraging him to throw that right hand over the top when he sees that jab. Well, definitely, I mean, that's Broden's style, you know, he, lo he loves to throw the right right counter, but for some reason there, he wasn't doing it. Well, look, we've just seen there, that's, that, that, that's Broden's game. And he, and he is brilliant at doing it. But he doesn't do enough in the first round, so kind of rightly so, tell him to let his hands go. Vargas in camp, actually, has been sparring Phil LeGreco, who... Didn't last all that long against Amir Khan earlier on, both of them Las Vegas based. Vargas <laughs> looking for a right hand there, just about reached. Again, he's just winning the battle of the jabs, is Vargas. And, and he's doing so with variation, it's not just to the head, he's jabbing to the head, jabbing to the body, stepping in nicely. It's just effective. He's, he's let a couple of right hands go as well, Vargas. Missed with that one there, but slowly starting to, to let it go. It's kind of interesting the way this is playing out at the minute because they're almost constantly within punching range or just on the borderline of punching range. They're almost daring the other one to really commit and lead off. And it must be very tempting to do it. And do you know what, Andy? I was uh, and I'll agree, I'll agree with you there, and, and that's one of the reasons we get so frustrated with Broner because he's so good and he's so excited when he does put them together. And like you say, he's always in range, but he just doesn't let his shots go. Of late, we haven't seen that anyway. And you just like to see Broner go through the gear, throw that right hand, drop to the body, come back with a left hook to the head. But he just doesn't do it. I'm not sure if he's. I don't know. I, you know, is, is he? 
you think a, a, a veteran of how many 12 rounds and title fights he's had, he'd be able to go for the kid. It's almost as if he's holding back because he's, he's frightened of going the distance. I'm not sure. Vargas is working to the body with the left hand. I don't think much of it got through. Then looking for a long right hand. There's a left uppercut on the inside there. Some decent work from Vargas, who to an extent here is just being allowed to build into the fight by Broner. I think that's kind of what you were just saying. And the confidence from the Las Vegas is, is building here. And it doesn't matter if Broner shakes his head. That doesn't mean anything, but Vargas is beginning to put a few together here. Not that many are getting through, but Broner's just not really doing anything to discourage him at the minute. No, not at all, and uh, this is definitely a Vargas round here. Nice work, nothing spectacular, but he's doing enough to, to win the round. Well, again, he's finishing well, and again, a shake of the head there from Broner. Good reflexes. They we're only two rounds in, but... He's just allowed Vargas just to build into the fight, get a foothold into the fight, increase his confidence, feel the punches land, albeit on gloves and arms at times, but it still raises that, that level of morale, that level of confidence, and he just lost that last round by being outworked, and Vargas didn't really have to do all that much to outwork him. He didn't, and, and the difference was he just let his hands go, and, you know, you don't want to be giving... giving uh, a class fight like Vargas, a head start, and that, that's what Broner's doing here. He's just not throwing the shots, he's standing in range, and I, I don't know what he's trying to achieve here. Is he trying to look flashy? I'm not sure. He's a word behind his jab, step in and let them shots go, like I say. Try and land that counter right, right to the body, come back to the left, just work a little bit more. I mean, if it continues to stay like this, this could be an easy night for Vargas. Vargas looking for that uppercut on the inside, didn't quite land it. Broner just tying him up on the inside. He tries to find the left of the body. Did let go with the right hand there, but it fell short. Broner threat to open up with a combination downstairs there, which brought some kind of reaction from the crowd at ringside. Then just pushes Vargas off onto the ropes and then looks for the uppercut there. Broner landed one too. This is better from Broner now, he's starting to up it a little bit. Landing a left right to the body, and then goes back to the head. Trying to push Vargas back, but now Vargas has turned the table, he's turned Broner, now trying to get his own work off. Better from Broner though, trying to see if his hands go a little bit more. But right now it's a real workman-like performance from Vargas, just letting the shots go. And the low one went in there from uh, Broner, which is a ref. Let go. Referee Charlie Fitch. We saw at Wembley for Brox Groves two nearly four years ago now. There was a left hand that got through there from Broner a few seconds ago, and the fight is warming up now. Vargas looking for a right hand, just fell in behind at a touch. Nice right hand there from Broner, just tagged his man, and Vargas just planting his feet. An interesting round this towards the second half of it. Brona just coming into it more. Yeah, not much in it though. It's nice to see Brona step it up a little bit, and he's probably done enough to nick this round. But again, Vargas still there, working away. Set about Vargas and get to work, and there was a bit of a spring in the step of Broner as he went back to the corner. Vargas in the corner between rounds, meanwhile, was not exactly looking distressed, but he's looking like he realised that the fight really now was on after an opening couple of rounds where not too much was being asked of him by his opponents. Yeah, I think Vargas needs to get back to what he was doing in the first two rounds, and that was using the jab with good variation. He just switched off a little bit the last round and let, let Broner back in. But Cunningham in the, the Broner corner there will be happy that he's letting his shots go, working well at the body, coming back up to the head. And a lovely right hand from Broner. And again, this is what we want to see more of, because when he does put them together, it really is classy work. It was good combination work too as well, wasn't it? Finished off with a jab down to the body as well. 
just manages to slip the right hand there from Vargas. And there's a swagger about Broner now that we've seen on many occasions before. Vargas, though, shooting straight with that left hand, got through. It's been a difficult fight to pick for most people throughout the course of the build-up and during fight week. And actually, as we got towards the opening bell, it was Vargas who was a slight favourite with the bookmakers. Good clipping left hand there from Broner. I think the difference with, with Broner from the past and now is he just he's just willing to stand there a little bit more and take him on the glove, whereas, you know, similar he, he had a similar style to, to Javon, Javonte Davis, if you like, you know, doesn't get caught with anything. He steps back, leans back, takes him on the shoulder, takes him on the glove and fires back. The, the Broner of today is just willing to take quite a few on the gloves, as you see there, then fire back. Whereas I just like to see him take a step out and use his defense a little bit more but don't get me wrong this, this is good work here definitely getting into the fight more and more as this is going on but good good workman like stuff from Vargas again work into the body well chopping right hand there from Broner but Vargas immediately fires back with a combination well, Broner last February had an absolute ding-dong with Adrian Granados cracking fight that was over 10 rounds and then after that it was the fight against Garcia, who's just given up that belt, actually. At super lightweight, that IBF. Still holds the WBC lightweight title. Final few seconds of round four. Vargas in range there, just looking to try and work that body he does hold those elbows quite high at times Broner when he's got the gloves up around his head he does leave that area exposed there's Danny Garcia who to an extent a bit of a forgotten man of the welterweight division and I can't quite understand why because he had a terrific fight against Keith Thurman that really was a tremendous scrap between those two it's just such a stacked division well to wait. I don't think anybody would argue about that. Keith Thurman coming back soon, we hope. Errol Spence, we know all about him. Terence Crawford takes on Jeff Horn in the not too distant future. And most people expect Crawford to win that fight. That's the kind of company that Vargas is hoping to keep. And that Amir Khan will be hoping to keep as well. Broner, we would imagine when it comes to titles, will go back down to super lightweight but at this catch weight tonight and this fight just beginning to catch fire a bit in the fifth trading up close these two and cunning in between rounds again saying to Broner that it's not enough just to throw a single punch a couple of punches he needs to stay on Vargas but Vargas is working hard on the inside there and seems to have upped his tempo again in the fifth you're right that's exactly what Cunningham kind of said there he was like you, you know you need to take your opportunities and I think you know it's already whizzed past, it's at the fifth round, you know, and though I've got it dead even at the minute, there has been opportunities for Broner to really pounce on Vargas and let the shots go, but he hasn't. And this has been a good start to this round, halfway through it, nothing in it. It was a good start from, from Vargas working again, well behind the jab, working to the body. Broner's come back into it this round, and yeah, the fight's definitely coming to light now. Bit of marking up just below the left eye there of Vargas, I think. On the cheekbone. Just sticking in that right hand there, Broner. Not far off being a right hand lead. And a slip there, I think, from Adrian Broner. No knockdown called. Just after Vargas himself actually had fallen in a bit behind the right hand and looked fairly open himself, but the legs went out from underneath Broner fairly dramatically there. And I think some of those watching who weren't all that close to the action felt he may have been well and truly caught but he wasn't no he wasn't and it, it was clumsy from Broner to be honest but the one thing I'm happy with is that there's, there was contempt behind that shot he really let it go and that's what forced him to, to fall off balance been a good round this fight's come alight now good work from both 
both men really letting the shots go head body good left hook there from Brona just as Vargas reached in with the right hand to the body just got stuck really his feet got stuck and Brona didn't need any second invitation right hand there from Vargas land well Kelly Cunningham getting well and truly stuck in in the corner there apologies if anybody is Offended by that, but there's the big wild left hand there from Brody, which was delivered totally and utterly off balance, which took him down to the canvas. And it's just interesting to see the way Cunningham is in the corner with Broner. I'm not trying to get on Mike Stafford's case here, but when you've been with, get to the point where they don't really feel they need to listen anymore and that they know best. But that's not what's happening in there for sure, and that's obviously not what has been happening during their change in a contest. You really want to stamp your authority, and I think we've seen glimpses of Broner when he does let him go he does look the better out of the two and I think Cunningham can see that in the corner and he's just willing Broner on and trying to jam him up and get him to throw more shots because you want to try and stamp your authority on the fight at this point and there's definitely some damage to that left eye of Vargas he's trying to cover up the gloves though just cannoning back into the face as Broner opens up with a combination He's been solid in this fight so far, Vargas. He's been quite workmanlike at times. He's kept those hands moving. And he put those first couple of rounds in his pocket with a superior work rate. But since then, it has been Broner who, in flashes, has looked like he could take control of this. He's yet to do it. Yeah, I agree. I think, if the, you know, the one... Who I'm, like, I'm preferring the work, though I've got it dead even, I'm, I'm preferring the work of Broner and it, if I was to pick one, I would like just to see Broner up it a little bit, you know, like Cunningham saying, because he's the better out of the two, but he's just not doing enough. Vargas again there, that's a good example, he's getting into range and he's digging the shots in. My colleague Dan Rayfield at ringside has got it by a point to Vargas. There have been some close ones. It's been that kind of a fight. Vargas is looking for an uppercut on the inside there. And again, just bursting out of that shell defence. Right hand from Broner almost snuck in round the back of the guard. Not quite. There's a lovely counter left hook from Broner as Vargas fell in short there. But just didn't follow the work up. But Vargas now is coming on strong. Walking forward, trying to boss from the centre of the ring. Smiling, he's marked up around the left eye. Jab followed by the right hand there from Vargas. Right hand fell just slightly short. Looking to the left of the body there, Vargas. And the referee here just calling. A timeout. Certainly wasn't intentional that. It just let a big left to the body go and it did catch low. I don't know how low it was. So on we go. The glove offered there and eventually taken by Vargas. Again, looks for that jab to the body. So we see Vargas, and he needs to get back to throwing that jab a little bit more. He switched off because it was working so well with the first two rounds, but he's just stopped throwing the jab. Now reaching the halfway stage of the fight. This round has preferred Broner's work. Some nice snappy shots to the head and body. And the fifth, though I don't like scoring an even round, uh, there just wasn't much in it at all. So yeah, I've got I've got Broner up one at the minute, but any it's all to play for at the minute. Like I said before in the previous round, just want to see Vargas throw the jab a little bit more and try and close the gap a little bit. I think standing at range suits Broner because he's able to throw the quickie, quick, uh, snappy counter punches. The lovely right hand that he throws. So I think he really needs to get close. Working him with, in with behind the jab, get close, let the work to the body go from Vargas.
Bruno just looking to try and touch with the left hand, tee up that right hand, but Vargas comes in with a wide hook which landed on the gloves. We know this is a catch weight of 144 pounds, so pretty much bang in the middle of that welterweight division, but when he's been at welterweight, Broner, he has struggled, and he has struggled when fighters have really got on him and made it into a dirty kind of a dog fight. That's what Marcus Maidana did to him. And I think that's what you're suggesting, that Vargas should really try and do to him here, that he can dog this out, make it uncomfortable for him, and grind out a win. And that, that does, that's exactly right, Andy. I think that's what the game plan would have been uh, in, the, in Camp, Camp Vargas. It's just to close the gap, make it not a horrible fight, just, just uh, a fight that doesn't suit Broni. And, and like you said before, Maidana just swarmed all over him like a rash. And um, when Vargas does get close, he's able to let the body shots go but he's just not doing enough of it like to see him close that gap a little bit more but Broner's throwing some lovely sneaky uppercuts here some nice counter shots showing glimpses of Broner in the, of the past there good jab for Vargas just snaked through that left eye is not a pretty sight though for Vargas I don't think it's causing him too much of a problem it doesn't look like it's really closing but there is some swelling there looking for the right hand just fell slightly short with it again there's that kind of funny right hand lead as weight comes very far forward as he throws it and he threw it again there it's a kind of shot to nothing really ends up on his opponent's shoulder and there's not really much Vargas could do to counter it but it's a single shot oh that's the call from them in there Vargas will bring it for the rest of this fight you know what you're going to get from him in terms of effort, in terms of his work rate. And they're just worried in that corner that if Brona doesn't do more, this could slip away from him. It'll be tight on the cards and he might not get it. And then they'll be in a position whereby he'll complain about the decision and refuse to accept the decision and make excuses on that front. But they feel that this is there for him to take. He has to step up and take it. Yeah, agree with you there. I, 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 to be honest, I've just got Brona slightly ahead I think he's landing some nice shots but it's just not enough I mean Vargas as well he's, he's still in there he's working hard he's ve there's not much in the rounds at all but I don't think he's landing much of note he's stopped throwing the jab so that's a bit better I mean it's really sort of six of one half a dozen of the other they're sort of both landing a couple but no one really taking control Trying to pop in the jab and then looking for right hand over the top, but it didn't land. And now he looks to stick with that right hand again, that single right hand. Just worried in that corner that if Broner doesn't do more, this could slip away from him. It'll be tight on the cards and he might not get it. And then they'll be in a position whereby he'll complain about the decision and refuse to accept the decision and make excuses on that front. But they feel that this is there for him to take. He has to step up and take it. Yeah, agree with you there. I, 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 to be honest, I've just got Broner slightly ahead. I think he's landing some nice shots, but it's just not enough. I mean, Vargas as well, he's, he's still in there. He's working hard. He's ve There's not much in the rounds at all, but I don't think he's landing much of note. He's stopped throwing the jab. So that's a bit better. I mean, it's really sort of... Six of one, half a dozen of the other. They're sort of both landing a couple, but no one really taking control. Trying to pop in the jab and then looking for right hand over the top, but it didn't land. And now he looks to stick with that right hand again, that single right hand. Pot shutting with that punch regularly. Vargas looking to try and exploit that exposed ribcage area for Broner, but not to any great effect. Neither one of these has hurt the other yet.
see again there. I mean, it was a good start to the round from Bruno. He just switches off. He just stopped throwing the shots. I'd like to see him up it a little bit more. He's, he's landing some good right hands here in this round. Vargas seems to switch one round to Brona, but on the official scorecards, there can't be much in it at all. So it's important that both guys step step on it, put their foot on the gas, and, and try and bank these rounds. It was cool for Vargas just to close the gap. He's got to stop allowing Brona to work. And if he's going to stand at range, just keep popping that jab out like he did there. Head, body, head, body, getting a rhythm. Brona looking for the jab himself there. He found himself on the end of a left hand from Vargas just as he was about to throw it. And Vargas almost on cue as he requested it there, Darren, just busying himself up with his jab and then threw that left hand, wide left hand over the top and caught Brona again there. That was lovely work there, Andy, from, from Vargas. Like I said, everything comes off of the jab. You find your range, and he did there. Landed some lovely body shots, then finished up with the head. This is a good, good stuff. First half of the round from Vargas. Right hand from Brona just made contact with the side of Vargas's head. He shakes his head. Brona looks to try and let a few go as he backs Vargas up to the ropes. Heading into the final minute of the ninth round, and Vargas has been the busier in this round so far. Work out there, guys. Look, look over, Adrian, you're holding it. Look over, Adrian. It's impossible to second guess the judges. It's Vargas who's been the one on the front foot for most of this fight, making the fight, if you like, and that can often count for a lot. Broner is box more off the back foot he's delivered the cleaner work at times but it's not a good look when you're covering up like that even if you are taking them on the gloves they're going mad in the Broner corner they really are they're, they're really really trying to get Broner to let his hands go I'm responding slightly there not in flurries but he's letting them go good right hand back Vargas up back to come Vargas with the left hook he just looked slightly unsteady there for a second, Vargas, after a right hand got through down the middle, and I think Broner has got to him a bit towards the end of this ninth round. Good punishing right hand. Three and four right hands there from Broner. Great finish, big left hand. Comes in just before the bell, and one of them and nicked it himself, and there's Errol Spence. And that was what they wanted to see. Well, not that exactly, the Broner corner, that long left hand from Vargas. He was having a good round, Vargas, up until the final 30 seconds. And then I think that right hand there, or just the one before it, hurt him a bit. I mean, it was it was a great round to start with. I mean, two and a half minutes of that round, Vargas was boxing beautifully, and then back on Broner, and you'd have to give the round to Broner there just because it was, a, it, you know, it was great work. It really was flashy stuff, and... It looked like he had Vargas in trouble there, and he started the round strongly as well. well it was a, it, you know, it was great work. It really was flashy stuff, and it looked like he had Vargas in trouble there, and he started the round strongly as well. Well, it was the most telling part of the fight, wasn't it? And that was the first time that either one of them had really looked hurt, and Vargas was in trouble towards the end of that round. And if there'd been another 20 seconds, then. I think he could have been in real difficulties, looking to try and bite down now Vargas because he's on the back foot here. Broner has come out strong, as you say, at the start of this 10th round. And he's just beginning to clown a bit as well, which he cannot afford to do. I think that's taken a little bit out of uh, Vargas. I know we're in the 10th round and you're going to be feeling the pace, but it was really good work from, from Brony at the end of the, end of the ninth. And I think it's taken a little bit out of Vargas. The work rate's not there. It's definitely taken something out of his legs when you look at him in there. He doesn't seem totally solid. He's certainly not moving with the same kind of fluidity that he was before. He's not a silky kind of a fighter anyway, Vargas, to be perfectly honest but 
little bit of elasticity seems to have left him, if you like. He looks a bit, a bit heavy-legged. The one thing he is, Vargas, I've seen it quite a few times in his fights. He finishes strong, he stays with the pace throughout. But here we are seeing him feel it a little bit. And I think that was certainly down to some of the big punches that Brona landed in the last round. And some of the big shots do stay with you. And I mean, this is good work from Brona now. He's oozing confidence. When you're oozing, oozing confidence like this, you just want to see the guy throw more shots. There's no point jumping around and acting silly when really you should be burning up energy, using energy, throwing shots. We're heading in towards the final 30 seconds of the round and Will Broner look to try and really put a stamp on this round towards the later stages. Vargas is trying to get up on his toes a little bit at times and inject a bit of energy back into proceedings, but he's still just digging in and throwing punches, trying to land as much as he can. That face is even more marked up now than it was previously. Right hand from Broner then rips with a big left and misses. And then Vargas comes back with a combination. And Broner again looking to get to work right at the end of the round. Long right hand, big right hand on the inside. And Vargas just looked a little bit unsteady there again, but he took it well. It was a, it was a difficult round to score because there wasn't much. No, Broner wasn't landing bundles of shots. He landed a couple of sneaky left hooks and right hands. There wasn't much going on. And at the end there, it'll come alive. But it was sort of, like I said before, six or one, half a dozen of the other. Both landing shots, both coming back with shots. So. It certainly looks the fresher of the two in there. If you look at the two faces, then it wouldn't be all that difficult to pick a winner, but that's not how these things are decided. Oh, he's just inching forward with that front foot there, Broner. Last few rounds particularly. It's funny that right hand he's thrown. I don't really understand the logic behind it at times because his weight comes forward, he is lunging towards his opponent and at best it'll land and he'll end up on the shoulder but if he misses with it, then he is open. I mean, that, that's what you're looking for, even when you're a kid boxing, to try and make your opponent fall short so then you can counter with a one, two, a left hook. I mean, you can really land whatever shot you want. So, yeah, as a, a guy so experienced, to, to fall in with a... Right hand like that is, is, is clumsy. Good left hook from Vargas, followed up by a one two. Decent looking jab there from Vargas, who has had a better of the opening minute or so, shoots out another proper jab. Only just waiting. And so far in the 11th, has done very little. Well, interesting with the scoring, Darren's got Broner a couple up, Dan Rayfield, as I mentioned earlier on, he's got Vargas a couple of points up. There have been some close rounds and you can understand the concern from the Broner corner all the way through the fight that he isn't doing enough. Vargas has generally been the one making the fight. Broner is the one who has landed the more hurtful, cleaner combinations. Who'd be a judge, Andy? I mean, it really is uh, subjective how you score a fight. Um, at times, I've really liked Broner. At times, I've liked Vargas. And I mean, it's been a good fight. It's been, you know, it's been a good, good eye-catching fight at times. I think mean, there's a cut there from Vargas, I think that's opened up, see some blood coming down the face, yet yeah, there's a cut to the left eye of Vargas. Seems to be running clear of that left eye, I think it's just around the corner somewhere, and Brona looking to try and get to work towards the end of the 11th round, but this has been a good round for Vargas. He's thrown plenty, he's got through with some, and Brona is postured. He's looked like he's about to open up at times, but he needs this, and he feels that he needs to light some fire underneath his man, because according to Darren, he's just one point ahead, and as we've been saying all the way through, there have been some close rounds. It's a case, in many ways, of what you like, and I'm not a fan of that phrase. I prefer the fight through lands to clean the punches, and 
I feel that of the two that generally has been Broner but having said that Vargas has worked hard he's outworked Broner in terms of work rate he's thrown plenty has enough got through in the eyes of the judges if he doesn't get this Broner if it goes a distance which it seems almost certain to and he doesn't get it I expect him to go absolutely ballistic and cry injustice howl at the moon at the futility of it all that's what will happen if he doesn't get the decision here because he feels I think that he's had the better of this and that really he is controlled it if he didn't think that then why hasn't he done more mm, well especially when your corners ask you to do that just like you know say Matt Cunningham and everyone else just like to see him up up the tempo especially like he did in his early days but he just doesn't seem to do it anymore but he's landing some lovely shots here Vargas trying to rally up the crowd with this last round yet to set a light well Vargas a really full-bloody competitor easy fighter to like and he's given it absolutely everything in there tonight he's been caught with some solid shots you can see from the state of his face that He's had to wear some heavy artillery. He was rocked towards the end of that round, that seventh round, I think it was, and he came through it. He hasn't left anything in the tank here, and he will be able to leave this ring with no regrets. Whatever happens, come the final decision. I'll probably be right. I mean, out of the two, if I was Vargas, I wouldn't regret anything. If I was Bronar, I would because I've got my corner calling for me, shouting at me to throw more, and he just hasn't. Though, don't get me wrong, he's won plenty of rounds, and though there's not much in this, before the, the 12th round, I had him one up. Well, actually, Fear Flame, member of the money team, of course, over there in Las Vegas, a British fighter, former British champion, he's got it dead level going into the 12th and final round five each with one even and it'll be very interesting to see what we get from Julie Lederman Eric Molinsky and Kevin Morgan a 10 second clapper goes and Broner looking to throw a big overhand right towards the conclusion of the fight and Vargas just dips low at the waist plants his feet and swings in those hooks the bell goes and they're both going to claim victory here Vargas mounts the corner 